Hi, welcome to this video on the Daily Football Stats Excel Analyzer. What does the analyzer do? Well, its job is to take the CSV that you get produced from when you look at the Daily Football Stats here. Here's the software which has got all these stats and then all the odds and also the results. If the games have already been played, the results are available too in the results column here. So what happens is with this data you push export and you are brought up with a CSV file that you can see here. Now it's got lots and 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 lots of numbers which you can use if you know how to use it you can use the sort buttons etc and get that done that way. But if you're not that way inclined then that is why we have the Excel analyzer. You must have obviously Excel to use it, uh, but the thing is you can uh, do it very quickly. So if I bring up the Excel analyzer, here it is here, what you can do is you can import a CSV file. So you can just click on the import CSV, you get a little pop-up, answer it, and then you can go and get the CSV file that you just downloaded. Here, for example, here it is here, the one we're going to download, and click OK. And in that quick blink, it's imported all of those matches into here. OK, now we've got the filters that we can use to filter what we want. Say, for example, in markets, say really simple is we want it to go uh, at the and don't worry about how small that is because we've got a little slide down here the little the zoom you can zoom that in if you want to make it bigger whoops overshot the mark so we can go in here look we've got full full time home odds full time draw full time away let's just say we want to look at the home odds and we want to look at that are less than or equal to one point, uh, sorry, one point six. We want to find all the favourites that are playing that are at home and are below a one point six or less. Okay, just say we've got a strategy that we want to look at that. So we do that, and we might say, well, we don't want to do any of the games in China. Okay, because that's early in the morning, maybe, and you don't want to have any Chinese games, so you do that. And you're not too keen on Egypt, for example. So they won't show up. Otherwise, what it's going to look for, it's going to look for all the games where the home favourite is 1.6 or lower. So once we do that, we just click on the filter button, click OK. And then what we have over here, if I'll just uh, hide, the, hide the filters so we can come here. Here are the matches today where the home team, if we look at the home team here, see all of them are less than 1.6 okay so that's just very quickly one scenario we could say well what we wanted to do is we wanted to lay every one of those no I'm not saying it's a strategy I'm just saying we wanted to lay every one of them pretty brave because they're all pretty short well we can see the very first one in Bolivia we got we we would have got our made our money on that one because it was a draw this one here was a draw. That was a win, a win, um, no result on that one. A win, 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 a win. Oh, another draw. So there were three, three draws that we would have won on, and uh, and we would have had to pay out on some of them. But obviously the odds were pretty low. Uh, but we could have a look at here. We could. Um, have a look and see how we went but that is just a very simple one let's go to another one which is a little bit more complex and it's, some of these are already filled in so that you can hit the ground running you can already start let's um, let's just reduce this so it's not so bloody huge okay here we go this one here we're looking at a combined goals scored and goals conceded we want them to be greater than or equal to three so we're looking at matches where the where the average over so far being played they're scoring more than three or conceding between the two of them. Combined over 2.5, we want it to be greater than a 
stat. Okay, so in these teams that are playing, we want them both to be over 60% of being in games with 2.5 goals or more scored. And we're looking for a full-time draw at the odds between 1 and 6. Okay, uh, we don't want any other filters. We're just going to run with these three. These are solid filters, by the way, but we're just going to run with these three. And so now we click on filter matches and uh, cut that out uh, filter matches so now we can look at all of these ones here have all got the draw between one and six okay so they're all that's the draw pattern and they all meet all meet the Combined, here we see here, combined over 2.5. We can see them here. They are all over 60. And the goals scored and goals conceded are all over 3. Okay, so they've been filtered to what? Now, we've got a clean sheet one here because we just had it ticked. So it's telling us what the clean sheets are as well. So you could set, set up a filter for finding out the clean sheets. Very, very quick. This all happens very, very quickly. Okay, if we have a look at this one here, just move the camera over. Let's have a look. This one is designed to be laying the draw. Well, we can see there, the very first one there, it was a draw. If we scroll down, there's another draw there. And we scroll down, and there's no more draws. So we got here about 18 winning bets out of 20. So we lost two, we won 18. Okay, so how did we work out how did this strategy work? Well, very simply what we could do now is we could click on export and it takes us to a brand new sheet. This has nothing to do with that sheet that we had. This is exported into a fresh sheet. And we could, for example, just come in here and go, okay, the draw was 3.5, so we lost that. So we had to give them 0.25, so that's what it cost us. There was no... Um, uh, this one here, okay, all these, the winning ones, we'll put in 0.95 to allow for the uh, commission. So we just scroll all them down there and we go across to this one. We lost minus 2.75. So what was the total? Go to auto total. 15.65 we made using this strategy and it took us less than a minute to get all the teams that we needed to bet in. Okay, this, this filter system is very fast. It will let you get down into the most obscure stats that you want. If you've got a favorite stat that you're looking for, then you can use it, combine it with others, and you can have the teams filtered in a matter of seconds, really. It's very, very fast. But remember, it only works on data that is produced by the daily football stats. So the software makes a CSV, you import the CSV into this. That whole process I just mentioned then takes you less than 15 seconds. And then you can go through the great thing about this, as I said, with the daily football stats here is you've got 10 pre-programmed systems there uh, that you can plug in your favorite stat. Let's uh, show filters again. Put in your favourite stat and away you go. Okay, we've got... Okay, uh, what I suggest is please make copies of this. So if you, for the want of a better word, bugger up your sheet, you can get it back again. Okay, so there's the help button there, which will take you to this video and um, a written tutorial. So you've always got that. It's on every every tab. The help button's not far away. And... Uh, Start playing around with it. This column over here, obviously, you can um, delete um, yes and no. If you put yes, then this stat will, or odds will be showing uh, when you get your results um, from the filtering. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you to either understand it or if you thinking about getting a subscription to Daily Football Stats and we're worried about how things how how easy and hard it was to do things, then don't be because it's dead easy.
and please remember you need Microsoft Excel to use this spreadsheet because we use macros in it so use Microsoft Excel thank you very much and uh, we wish you all the best and this is a great way of becoming a football expert without having to do a lot of hard work on behalf of Michael and myself Steve thanks for watching this video and all the best cheers